Ethics Violation by Danette Green Are only bad people guilty of ethics violations? No, anyone could be guilty, even if they do so innocently or without any malicious or bad thoughts or intentions. The Bible said that man was given dominion over all the animals of the earth. But we humans are not good with rules and regulations. So God gave us the Ten Commandments. This was to help us govern our lives and live in a righteous manner. We didn't do a good job of following them. So he sent his only begotten son to teach us how to live righteously, how to follow the path to um, goodness and truth and take care of one another. And yet we still didn't listen or act too well. We have professionals to teach us right from wrong. We have them to teach us um, and also history, different academic subjects. You know, they don't get everything right. And some people just take advantage. This is about the headline that has been going around circulating since May of this year. Many Congress people feel that the unemployment benefits were too generous and made people lazy and not want to go back to work. Go back is the operative word because they want to go back, have them go back to the wages they were being paid prior to the pandemic, which was not a livable wage. The livable wage, or minimum wage as it is, is supposed to be $15 an hour. Chipotle and some other restaurants are paying the employees that. They said as a result of that, they have to raise the prices of a lot of their products. The price increase at Chipotle is $10, let's say for the burrito normally, it's going to be $10.40. However, if we look at it, we have people who are saying that people who haven't been in the workforce for a long period of time, people who are in the minority, the disenfranchised, immigrants, young people who have no um, history of work, who are just starting out, are not worth $15 an hour. This according to Art Laper, who was economist to the late President Ronald Reagan. But we wonder, how much are they making an hour that they can sit and judge people who are making only $15 an hour? It still is hard to take care of a family, but it's better than seven twenty-five. Oh, by the way, the President Chipotle made $38 million last year. Congress, big business CEOs, and major corporations tend to disregard any principles of ethical conduct. I don't know if they even have one, but that's to remain to be seen. Many, if not most, of the natural disasters and assaults on the earth are because of man's greed. Human beings have gotten really good at taking resources out and not replenishing them when we can. We must learn how to be responsible, do the right thing, and do the righteous thing. We're here to teach, help, and heal one another, not hurt, abuse, and discard one another. We are not supposed to just make money and profits for the heads of the corporation and the shareholders. We're supposed to take care of people and make sure that what we produce are helpful, not harmful. And even if our institutions do not comply because they engage an expectation of unreasonable entitlement, which is the enemy of ethics and rarely deliver on their promises to improve matters, we particularly as an instructional designers must make sure that we always go and do the right thing. 
that we are following the code of ethics. Most professions do have a code of ethics to follow. Medical personnel are expected to live up to the Hippocratic Oath. Teachers have different organizations that are monitoring and making sure that their code of ethics are followed and that they are teaching good ideals, good values. And instructional designers, we have different organizations and associations that make sure that we are following codes of ethics, that whatever we produce, whatever the courses, materials, programs, apps, whatever we are designing are there to help people, not to do any harm. We all must abide by a code of ethics. And all humankind should learn to live by those codes to create a harmonious and loving world. Even when we reduce, reuse, and recycle, join with advocacy groups, join protests against unrighteous thieves, we still have to be on guard to monitor our own behavior. Otherwise, we can slip against or cross that line inadvertently. According to Mahatma Gandhi, we must keep our thoughts positive because thoughts become words. Words become your behavior. Your behavior become habits. Your values, your habits become values and your values become your destiny. And if they aren't positive, they're definitely going to be negative. I'm going to tell you a little tale about some frogs. There's a group of frogs that were hopping along, and two of the frogs weren't paying attention and fell into a deep ditch or hole. The other frogs were very dismayed because they couldn't help them, but the two who had fallen in spent hours trying to get out. Finally, one of the frogs just gave up and died, following the advice of the ones who were above telling him it was useless. The other frog, however, kept jumping, and finally got to a point where he jumped out of the hole. The other frogs were amazed and said, How did you do that? We were telling you to just lay down and die. And the frog said, I am deaf. I saw your mouth moving. I thought you were uttering words of encouragement. So I went for that. That's to remind us that our words, as well as our actions, are can create either harm or good. We must learn how to make sure that everything we do, everything we think, is for the sake of good for other people. So we must all do our part to the best of our ability to promote adherence to codes of ethics. And even if they seem like they're minor infractions, no, it's not that bad. Um, I'm just taking a penny. I'm taking two. I don't really need the other one, but, you know, it's good to have. Any of those things are not helping us to live the righteous life that we're supposed to. So, we must be very vigilant against doing the wrong thing, even if it doesn't seem like it's a big deal. We must, from now on, make a pledge and a commitment to following the code of ethics, because if we don't, we may find ourselves on the wrong side of following them and find out that we have violated the very codes that we have sworn to uphold. These are the resources I used in order to make this presentation. Thank you, and have a very blessed day.